welcome to September's edition of SWBH Pathology TV News, Toxicology Special. In this edition, Jonathan will present the August statistics. And Raj will take us into the laboratory. We'll look at two curiosities that came in in August. Some mushrooms, were they magic? A garden potion, did it contain weed killer? Here we are on Digbeth High Street outside a head shop. Jonathan will present the monthly statistics for our legal highs and classic drugs of abuse screening. Okay, August statistics for legal highs. Here we go. Out of 1,700 urine samples tested, ethylphenidate and MPA, 12 positive. Mephedrone, 10 positive. A dramatic rise in the adamantyl cannabinoids we've seen positive with 41 urines positive. Hey, let's compare with the classic drugs of abuse screening that we've seen in August 2014. Out of 1,700 samples, 304 positive for heroin, 674 positive for morphine, amphetamine and associated compounds, just 39 positive in August. Benzos, 463 samples tested positive. And you know what? Cannabis, out of a slightly smaller sample, 438 tested positive. Here we are in our toxicology laboratory. These mushrooms came to us from our mental health facilities where they were growing in the lawn. These mushrooms were analysed on our LC QTOF, but they were determined not to be magic mushrooms as they did not contain the active psychedelic ingredient psilocin or psilocybin. A urine sample came in from a young person who likes to make potions up in the garden. The concern was it may have contained the weed killer paraquat or diaquat. Here, a simple test in the lab shows whether it actually contains weed killer. See, the bright green shows positive for diaquat. And the bright blue shows positive for paraquat. Okay, August statistics for legal high.